OTF TV gang 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 shit. We definitely in the building, man. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button to the hottest channel on YouTube when it comes to this boxing shit. Now, the Mayweather Gym has made their predictions on the heavyweight bout between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. And surprisingly enough, majority of the entire gym picked Anthony Joshua to defeat Deontay Wilder. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say it for the LDBC because I know they're going to say it. Them niggas is coons. Them some coon ass niggas. How they going to pick the nigga from another country to beat Anthony, to, 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 to lose to Anthony Joshua? That's bullshit, man. Them niggas is coons. Man, look here. At the end of the day, facts are facts. What's real is real. And the obvious thing here is that everybody sees it majority of the time when you pick somebody to pick to win a fight excuse me you pick the person that has the better attributes the natural the, 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 the better ability the more skill in the ring everyone has said the same thing about Deontay Wilder it's not a fact of people not liking Deontay Wilder it's not that Deontay Wilder isn't a people's person it's none of that shit at all what it boils down to is it's skill Anthony Joshua is far better boxer, a far better boxer than Deontay Wilder is. Deontay Wilder, as many fights as he's had, is still very sloppy in the ring, and he relies on his power to win fights. That's it. There's nothing impressive about Deontay Wilder. There's no tremendous footwork. He's not giving you no angles in there. He's not, you know, it's it's nothing crazy about him when he's in the ring. He's not throwing, he's not feigning, he's not doing none of that. He's just going in there, swinging wild. And if he doesn't land from swinging wild, he swings wilder. You know what I'm saying? That's his last name to try to take you out. Now here's the thing: Deontay Wilder is going to have to get in the ring and try to knock Anthony Joshua out within the first four rounds. He's going to have to. If he doesn't do it, AJ is going to box, box himself to a decision or he's going to stop Deontay Wilder and the championship rounds. I've said it before. I said it again. My whole thing is you have these LDBC dudes who, I mean, now they're going to say that everybody in the Mayweather gym is, 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 is cool ass niggas. They, they're hating on Deontay Wilder when facts is facts. You always pick the technical boxer over the power puncher. That's usually how I always did it. And apparently that must be the way that everybody else does it too. So, another thing that they brought up was the fact that Deontay Wilder has never fought in front of a large fan base uh, as big as, uh, you know, Anthony Joshua was done fighting in front of 90,000, 100,000 people. Um, you know, that could be a distraction. The lights, the, you know, the, the atmosphere, everything, the, the getting booed. All that can play a role into affecting Deontay Wilder. So he's going to have to be, uh, you know, mind's going to have to be clear. He's going to have to be 100% focused when he's in the ring with Anthony Joshua. Now, um, I'm, just, I'm just wondering what the LDBC is going to have to say about the Mayweather's gym prediction. I guess everybody in there, uh, Floyd Sr., uh, you know, uh, Muhammad, Mustafa, uh, uh, Ashley Thea Payne, you know, all these other boxers in there are apparently coon ass niggas because they're picking Joshua to beat Deontay Wilder. Um, and it, and it's, it's nothing wrong in that, but I want to see what their thoughts upon that is. Um, if you guys want to see the video, it's actually on the Mayweather Boxing Channel on YouTube. So if you type in Mayweather Boxing Channel, It'll pop up. The video was just posted not too long ago. And you can watch their predictions um, for yourself and hear what they had to say about the fight between um, Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua. One thing they did say that was uh, Anthony Joshua does appear to be stiff at times in the ring. But I think um, he's working on that. And that's why I'm thinking he may take that next fight with uh, Alexander Povetkin just to continue to cut down in size so he could be a bit more agile, a bit more mobile in the ring. Because he is, uh, you know, he likes to box at a slow pace, you know, take his time, 30 to, you know, 30 to, to, to 45 punches per round uh, type time. But 
I'm talking a little early, you know, because there may be some things that he's working on that we may not know. But, as you can see, there are plenty of Americans, plenty of Americans, who are also rocking with Anthony Joshua to win this fight, okay? So don't let these guys get out here and fool you and make it seem like uh, it's, it's a few of us out here cooning. No, Joshua has a fan base in America, too, and a lot of people are pulling for Anthony Joshua to win this fight, or at least going for Anthony Joshua to win this fight. So, it's OTF TV, gang, gang, gang shit. Don't forget to comment down below. Oh, yeah. Because the truth will be uh, known surely. Trust when I tell you, when these two giants get in the ring and they finally get this bout going, the truth will be told as who is the best heavyweight in the world. And that man will be standing at the top of that mountain. Anthony motherfucking Joshua. It's gang gang shit, man. I'm out this bitch. You heard me.